Kaya is a Hawaiian word for oceanside. In Hawaiian, towards the mountain is Malka, and towards the ocean is Makai. We draw a majority of our inspiration from Maui itself, and we really want to share that passion. I felt that the name was fitting for us as a company because Makai is really what surrounds the islands and the water is so important to our designs and our inspiration as artists. So we cleanse ourselves in the ocean and we get so much of our wonderful energy from being able to go to the beach and swim and dive and see these amazing whales and living in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. I really enjoy the culture here in Maui. It's very centered around surfing and extreme sports. We're in one of the top extreme sport locations in the world. And I'm blessed to be able to join in on water sports and wind sports that inspire my work and keep me going. When you can capture that moment in time and that feeling of being on the island and that feeling of inspiration that we all get from coming to Hawaii, really want people to feel the passion that I have for Maui and take it home with them, display it in their home, share it with their friends. When Randy and I started the company, our goal was to create one of the largest, most creative studios in the Pacific. We have this amazing space, you know, being able to be in a place that is industrial but has the serenity that we need to um, be artists. We're in a very unique place to have a glass blowing studio. The Hawaiian Islands were formed by volcanoes millions of years ago, and molten glass is very similar to the lava that formed these very shores. There's a wide range of people who buy our work. We get visitors from all around the world. We really try to keep it open to the type of collectors we get from stars to everyday people that just love to travel and see the world and feel something. We typically display our work with LED lighting. It really has that emanation of energy with the illumination of the art. We like to have that aloha spirit emanate through the house. And then we also use the native woods here on Hawaii. I've been a woodworker most of my life, and here's the most incredible exotic woods. It's all I work with, you know. It goes from taking logs and milling them into slabs, drying the slabs, shaping them, cutting them down into whatever sizes we need to be the displays that hold up the whales and the turtles. And, all the sculptures we make here. We are all a family, that's Ohana. And it's, it's very humbling to know that I'm a part of this with a big team, because it takes all of us. You know, teamwork makes the dream work. And for our team and our family, it's creating synergy between all of the artists. It's like a choreographed dance it's very in tune. You're almost telepathically having to communicate because there's very little talking and you're really having to feel each other. So being able to have people that you're so in tune with, that you're friends with, um, really helps with the capturing of each sculpture that has that feeling and that mana. You have to work together as a super close-knit team if you're gonna accomplish what we do. So that's definitely what I love about it is the teamwork aspect and the family. These people have become my best friends, my family members. I couldn't imagine myself or my life without having met them and worked here. It's an integral part of who I am. Mineralogy and gems and nature is what really drives me as an artist. 
And before I ever knew about glass, the things that I was so inspired by were uh, being in nature and seeing the colors in nature, gems and minerals and the colors that come out of the earth. And so when I found glass, that natural material, the sand, the silica, the soda lime, and then using the precious metals to be able to create these amazing colors that are all natural, um, really be, was able to bring out in my own heart what I really wanted to express as an artist. And a lot of the art with the colors and the vibrancy uh, draws in my love for nature and the beauty that surrounds us. There's so much more than just creative functionality to it, you know. When I get excited and I tell people about glass, it's usually the scientific parts of it and learning this really interesting medium that has so many unique personality traits that just itself holds. I can remember the first time I saw glass poured out onto a metal table and it changed my life just seeing it that one time and I never wanted to do anything else again. Now we don't go, oi! I consider glass blowing to be a bit of an extreme sport, so it's normal for me to go from paragliding or surfing into the day, make a beautiful piece, and finish off the day doing something I love as well. You know, sometimes I think it's crazy the things that he does, but it really helps him with his day to be able to have that inspiration every moment to find a new way to express himself and just like anybody when you can feel the best that you can feel you're uh, way more uh, open to coming up with these magnificent uh, ideas and designs and uh, living the best life that you can live. Anybody who's in touch or sensitive with their emotions as many artists can be and are it's definitely going to impact you out here. You know, I hear him coming from work after having just surfed like this huge wave down a Hokipa that nobody should be surfing right now. And, and I just, I love that level that he lives his life at. And we create art at that level too. And I think people see it. And when people can't really, you know, jump on a wave and, and ride a 30 foot wave, well, they can buy a piece that we bring that same energy to and create that piece. And hopefully it translates to that. And I think, I think people do see it and kind of they want a piece of that too, so yeah, it's really inspiring. Many of us on the team have been working together for over 10 years. So we have a great connection in the hot shop. And um, with that, we can create anything that we can imagine. And it takes a team to make the pieces that we're creating because of the intricacy of all the details and the size. You know, the first time I ever worked with Justin, he was obsessing over the eye of this whale. And, and I was like, oh, you know, I think it looks fine the way it is. And he said to me, this is what brings it to life, right here. So if you lose that moment of bringing it to life, of bringing someone into that sculpture and feeling related to it, you lose the piece entirely. The humpback whales are some of the most majestic creatures I've ever encountered in nature. They migrate here from Alaska on a long journey. They come here to give birth and breed. It's really amazing that we can come here and see the baby calves right as they enter this world. Going under the ocean and feeling the immensity of life that's under there is just, it's so inspiring. It's almost like as I got more into the sculpting, I also found my way more into like diving and being underwater. So it's almost like they grew together, my love for both things. And as I would sculpt something for these guys, I'd 
then be so inspired to get in the water and I'd see a whale, a fish, a turtle up close and all of a sudden I was like, oh my God, I know exactly how to bring that into the studio. So my love for both have just kind of fueled each other. The ocean is just magic. It's like another planet that exists right here among us and we don't even know about it. You see the ocean from the surface and it twinkles and sparkles and you're so in love with it and then you get underneath it and all of a sudden there's these lives existing that you didn't even know about. And we're so lucky here that we get to be as close as we are to it. It's amazing. The sea life out here is actually like sea life. Like you can see it, you know? We're not just reading it in a book or a magazine. We go out on the boat or on the ocean at a beach and every time I see a turtle or a whale or a dolphin or any amazing tropical fish, I'm always like, all right, so that color kind of stripes up like that or this has that edge there and I, I'm literally studying it. I mean, I'm usually in awe of it because, you know, a whale the size of a giant truck is pretty amazing. But at the same time, I'm, I'm using that as, okay, how can I translate that into glass? How can I make it look more like what I'm creating and really capture it in, in something entirely different than what it is? We all try to take in a bit of that essence into us and put that back into our art. So when people come and they look, they can feel that and relate to that. And I think that's what draws everybody to Makai. You know, we just want to get out in the water and experience this something that's bigger than us, deeper than us, this mystery that, that we don't even really fully understand. But we love it. We're part of it. We're from it. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! I love to make beautiful art and I love to have an amazing team, but really it's about us creating that ability to change people's lives and take that time from their everyday life, a hustle and bustle, and close their eyes and really feel the art that we're um, giving to them in a different way. It's not just looking at it, it's, it's more the aura and the vibration that emanates off of each piece. I put a lot of my, my heart into each piece, and I think it's important that uh, the people love it as much as I do.